Hey, Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. One of the most controversial videos that I've made on the channel is Stoneforge Mystic will never be unbanned in modern. Probably. <laughs> well, it happened. Stoneforge Mystic was indeed unbanned. And a lot of you in the comments seem to be pretty giddy about that. And you know what? To be honest, I kind of am too. Uh, four Stoneforge Mystics and Batter Skull. The last one's probably going to be sort of fire nice, I imagine. So how did that happen? I, I made a video explaining my reasons, and I would like, if you wouldn't mind, go and check that video out, but also check out in the description, there's also a link to the announcement, the unban announcement. So how did that happen? Well, I gave four reasons for why a card is banned in modern, and applied two of them to Stoneforge Mystic. One was power level slash saturation. A card could be too strong on its own, or it could be strong enough that it gets oversaturated and therefore gets banned. There are instances where that happens, obviously. And it's a little hard to distinguish raw power level from just being too ubiquitous sometimes. Sometimes there's a gray line in the middle. The other one that I gave was part of the reason that Birthing Pot explicitly was banned. It's because it helps to hamper design space. If birthing pod stays around, then every creature has to go through a birthing pod test. Will this creature break birthing pod? Eventually, Siege Rhino came out and did break it, giving it a mid-range non-combo plan that slotted in with the combos it was already trying to run. So I had thought that Stoneforge Mystic filled the same role, but with equipments. Now, equipments are obviously much, much, much less popular than creatures. Creatures and Planeswalkers are the most popular cards in Magic. I know there are some Magic players that don't like Planeswalkers as a design. A lot of players disagree, but creatures are really popular. Equipments, not so much. You don't see them too often. Yes, they were really popular when they first came out, but you don't see them too often nowadays. And that's fair enough. They're not usually too exciting, and unfortunately, they can get broken pretty easily. Part of the drawback to running an aura is that if your creature happens to be taken out, the aura goes away too. You've potentially been two for one. With an equipment, that's not the case. It gets to linger and play on the next creature, and play on the next creature, and so on and so forth. It's a continuing problem. That's not even getting into cards like Umazawa's Jite, and Batter Skull, and the sort of X and Y cycle. <laughs> Equipments are really strong. They can be, anyway. They have the potential to be. And I had thought that they would want Stoneforge Mystic to stay banned, in part, not just for power level, but so that they had more design space with which to design good equipments. That appears not to have been part of the reasoning. Whereas they explicitly gave that for Birthing Pod, let me read you the announcement, if you don't mind. Part of the announcement. Again, go check it out in the description, if you don't mind. Alright, so here's part of what they said regarding it. Just as was our philosophy in unbanning Jace the Mind Sculptor and Bloodbraid Elf last year, we recognize that over time the power level of modern increases naturally as the card pool grows. Cards that were added to the ban list on pure power level, pure power level, may now be more appropriate in context of a more powerful metagame. We believe the modern metagame and power level are in a place where Stoneforge Mystic is now an appropriate inclusion in the card pool. So, very simply, in a shell nut, I was wrong. And the people that were commenting, this either isn't a part of the reasoning or it's not a substantial enough reason. You're right. You were absolutely right. It may be the case that they're not keen on designing equipments to be as pushed as they once were. It may just be that they're not too keen on designing equipments very much at all nowadays. It may be that they are, but they don't think that they're going to break modern with it, etc, etc. That's it. I was wrong. It was a power level concern. Now, power level for Stoneforge Mystic can still be a concern, and they go on about that in the next paragraph. 
The danger of introducing, excuse me, reintroducing Stoneforge Mystic, and its reason it's remained on the ban list up until this point, is that it's at its strongest against straightforward decks that play to the battlefield. While we think it's unlikely, there is a scenario where Stoneforge Mystic could come to suppress this type of gameplay, in which case we would re-examine its legality, similar to Golgari Grave Trolls, History and Modern. Instead, our hope is that as gameplay becomes less graveyard-focused, Stoneforge Mystic serves as an enticing draw for decks to refocus toward the battlefield, creature combat, and card advantage. Alright, so this has... this brings up to me an interesting problem. Stoneforge Mystic is... I'll make up a term, an autoplay card. It is one card that designates a very clear way that you're supposed to play this, generally. You play it, you tutor up the piece that you need, and then you try to get that piece into play. It occupies not only that turn, but if it gets to stick, the next turn as well. It takes away from some of the decisions that you can make. In this case, that's not necessarily a bad thing, because you are still having some thought go into it. Hey, what do I tutor up at this time? Should I try to go off, or should I hold up a counter, or whatever the case may be. Um, but the way that Stoneforge Mystic tends to go about doing this is a way that suppresses fair creature decks. Stoneforge Mystic is, if you will, the fairest of fair cards that you could reasonably see in modern. There are cards that beat Stoneforge Mystic, don't get me wrong. Colagon's Command becomes a one-for-one. One. Yes, a one-for-one, one, kind of, because while you're dealing with, say, the Batter Skull that just came down, Stoneforge Mystic got the Batter Skull. So, Stoneforge floated the Batter Skull, and then you use Colagon's Command to take out both. So, kind of a one-for-one, one, kind of. There, there is still counterplay to Stoneforge Mystic. But... If you're trying to do something fair, Stoneforge Mystic is almost a card you have to include. Now, Stoneforge Mystic does, of course, have weaknesses. Unfair decks. If you run something like, well, Hogak, but rip Hogak. If you run something that can deploy itself quickly enough, turn one, turn two, maybe even turn three. Uh, Storm, for instance. Dredge, rip Faithless Looting, but we're getting to that in a second. Um, Hollow One, rip Faithless you get the idea. If you play something... Uh, actually, <laughs> okay, I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, then Stoneforge Mystic may not be fast enough. And that's been what people have been saying. Understandably so. Stoneforge Mystic is too slow for modern. Ha ha, I've got an 8-8 trample on turn 2 and you've got a 1-2 that got you a batter skull. Okay, that's, that's correct. That is perfectly fair. And if it had just been Hogak banned Stoneforge Mystic Unbanned, I would be inclined to agree. I may still be inclined to agree, but Faithless Looting getting banned is probably going to slow down the format by a pretty decent bit. What decks end up being slower as a result? Well, Dredge has a, has a bit of a harder time. It's still possible, of course, and for all of these decks it will still be possible, just not as easy. Uh, Storm as well. Drake's or Phoenixes, rather, is that is that even a thing anymore? Without uh, Surely it is, right? Surely you could still... I don't know, I, I guess that remains to be seen. But at the least, Phoenixes is slower. Um, Storm, Dredge, those seem like the... Hollow One, that's another one. All get at least slower, because Faithless Sitting's been banned. And if Modern slows down by a turn, Stoneforge Mystic just gets that much better. Unless the metagame adapts to it, <laughs> to be fair. If people start, for instance, playing more uh, lightning bolts or fatal pushes or paths or abrupt decays or assassin trophies, etc., because they have to deal with that. Um, it seems to me to be the case that I would, if I were actually making this ban list, I would either want to ban Faithless Looting or unban Stoneforge Mystic, but not both. It seems like there's there's too many variables being adjusted at once. One that slows the format down, and the other that rewards the format for being slower. So I'm still cautious. That said, there is absolutely no chance I am not running Stoneforge Mystic in Modern. I am absolutely. I'm a fan, folks. People that watched that last video, they may not have realized that. I am a fan of Stoneforge Mystic. 
My kid's nickname is T1 Stoneforge Mystic, and she will tell you that too, because the last game of Magic that I played before she was born, I got a Stoneforge Mystic out on turn one. In Legacy. It's Gemstone Caverns. I got a Gemstone Caverns, it's a one of in the deck, and I was on the draw, and I had the Stoneforge Mystic. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit of a fan. <laughs> and I will absolutely be running this. Heck yes! Alright. That's it, Magic Community. Take care, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye!